How's it going everyone, Michael here. In this video, we will be going over the problem random pick with weight. Meta has been asking this problem like crazy recently, so I thought it would be a good problem to go over. It's also asked at TikTok, Netflix, Google, and Amazon. This problem is a little challenging as it does involve a little bit of math plus the binary search algorithm, but I'm gonna explain it step by step. Before we get started, I wanted to tell you about my technical interview prep platform, Algos with Michael. So if you're preparing for coding interviews, I really recommend you checking it out. It's different from other coding prep websites because I actually teach you the patterns to solve a bunch of different categories of interview problems, such as sliding window, top K element, and binary search. Taking a pattern focused study approach is so much better than studying a bunch of random problems or even just studying problems by specific companies. Learning the patterns is what's gonna allow you to feel confident in a wide breadth of different topics. Specifically for my YouTube audience, you guys get a discount using the code ALGOHELP. Now onto the problem. So the description says you are given a zero indexed array of positive integers W, where W at index I describes the weight of the ith index. You need to implement the function pick index, which randomly picks an index in the range between zero and the last index in the array, inclusive, and returns it. The probability of picking an index i is the element at the ith index divided by the sum of all of the weights. For example, if w is equal to the array 1, 3, the probability of picking index 0 is 0.25, 25%, and the probability of picking index 1 is 0.75, 75%. So let's say we had the following example. For this problem, each index has a corresponding weight associated with it. So index zero has a weight of one, index one with a weight of three, index two with a weight of two, and index three with a weight of four. What these weights represent are the possibility of being chosen randomly. The higher the weight, the higher probability that the associated index should be chosen. So based on this example, these are the probabilities of each index being chosen. How did I come up with these percentages? Well, the description already kind of gave us the formula. All you have to do is sum up all of the weights and then divide it by the individual weight at the specific index. The sum of all the weights for this specific example is 10. So how can we actually choose an index based on these percentages? It's actually simpler than you might think. Percentages can be converted to decimal values by just shifting over the decimal two places. Index zero should have a 10% chance of being selected because it would be one divided by 10, which is 0.1. Index one is three divided by 10, which is 0.3, so that's 30%. Index two is two divided by 10, 0.2, 20%. And index three, is four divided by 10.4, 40%. Now let's say we had a number line from zero to one. Index zero would take up this space. Index one would take up this space, index two, this space, and index three, this space. What this is saying is that index zero is between the range of zero and 0 0.1. Index one is between the range of 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 but notice that the 0 0.1 is not inclusive. And then index two is between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6, and index three is between 0 0.6 and one. To select an index randomly now, all we have to do is use a random decimal generator between zero and one. Whatever random decimal value that is created corresponds to one of these ranges is the index that is chosen. So in Java, this can easily be done with the random API. All right, now that we have an idea how to approach this problem, let's go over the algorithm in depth, which will involve binary search. We're gonna use the same example as before. So the first step is summing up all of our weights so that we can compute the percentages. So summing this up, we have a sum of 10. Now here's the part where we create those ranges that we were talking about. We're gonna create a double array called probabilities. Index zero of our probabilities array is going to be computed by doing the weight at index zero divided by our sum. So one divided by 10 is 0 
index one is going to be set to the previous probability plus the same computation just using the weight at index one now. So we're going to do 0.1, that's the previous probability, plus the decimal you know, percentage calculation, which it would be three divided by 10, and that equals 0.4. And then at index two, we would do 0.4 plus two divided by 10, that would be 0.6. And then at index three, we do 0.6 plus four divided by 10, which is one. And there we go. Now we have all of our ranges. So if we choose randomly, say decimal value 0.5, that means that index two should be chosen or say 0.4 is randomly generated. Index one would be chosen then. Or one more example, let's say 0.05 was chosen. That would mean that index zero would be chosen. In order to find the index that is associated with a randomly generated decimal value, we can use binary search. Our probabilities array is sorted, so that's why we do this. It's much faster than doing a linear search. So going over this binary search algorithm, let's say we selected our random target number as 0.5. We're gonna have a left and right pointer our left pointer starts at zero, and then our right pointer is gonna start at the last index of our probabilities array, which would be three. And then we're gonna compute our mid calculation, the, the mid index, and we can do that using the formula left plus right minus left divided by two, which would be one. If our probability at mid is less than our target, that means we are not within the correct range. So we would have to move our left pointer to mid plus one. So since our mid is at index one, that corresponds to 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is less than our target of 0 0.5. So we're not in the correct range. So we need to update our left pointer to mid plus one. Then we just compute our mid again, left plus right minus left divided by two would be two. So looking up, the probability at index two, that's 0 0.6. 0 0.6 is greater than our target of 0 0.5. This means that we are in a valid range, so we want to include this index in our potential answer. So our right pointer gets reassigned to mid. And notice that I'm not doing mid minus one. Doing mid minus one would exclude this index two from being a potential answer, and we don't want that. So our right pointer is assigned to the index two. And now that our left and right pointer are at the same index, we're done. So the random index that we return is two, which actually had a 20% chance of being chosen. All right, so let's implement the code for this solution. Let's first initialize some of the different variables and uh, data structures that we're gonna need. So we know we're gonna need to generate random uh, decimal values. So we're gonna need the random class. So we could just say random, random. And then we're also gonna need to initialize this weights uh, integer array. So we could just say private int w. And then we're also going to have a double array uh, let's just call it P because I don't want to write out probabilities a million times. Uh, and then in our constructor, we can just say this dot random equals new random. And this dot W equals W and this dot P equals new double. And it's going to be the same length as our weights array. And so now the first step is to calculate our sum, right? Or the sum of all the weights. So we can loop over all of the weights, right? And we'll just say sum plus equals the weight. And now that we have the sum, this is where we can generate those percentages, the ranges. So first let's populate index zero of our probabilities array. And that calculation will be the weight at index zero divided by our sum. And now we just need to compute the rest of our percentages. So we can start our for loop at index one, and we're gonna loop up to the end of the weight length. And we're gonna say the 
probability at index i is going to be equal to the previous probability that we calculated plus the same calculation that we did on line 15. So we're going to get the weight at index i and divide it by our sum. And that's it. Now we have our ranges. Now we just need to implement the pick index function, which we're just going to use a binary search. So it should be really easy. Uh, first, we need to generate a random decimal value between 0 and 1. So we could say double target equals random dot next double, right? So this is going to generate a random value between 0 and 1. And that's exactly what we want because our probability array has been normalized between, the, between 0 and 1. And then we're also going to need a uh, left and right pointer. So left starts at 0 and right starts at the last index, right? And then we'll say while left is less than right. And now we need to calculate our mid. So we'll say left plus right minus left divided by two. And if the probability of the mid calculation is strictly less than our target, that means that this isn't a valid range and we need to exclude it from being a potential answer. So to exclude it, we can say left equals mid plus one. So uh, I know this might be confusing. Um, the reason why I'm doing plus one here, that is what's doing the exclusion from this being a potential answer. If I just did left equal to mid, that would mean that mid could still be a potential answer. So we know since the probability at mid is strictly less than our target that it's not valid. So we're excluding it from being a potential answer using the plus one here. If this is confusing, I definitely would recommend checking out my binary search course on my platform, Algos with Michael. I explain all of this in detail and cover all of the edge cases. But anyways, moving on. So if this is not true, then we just can say else right is equal to mid. So in the scenario that the probability um, at mid is greater than or equal to our target, that means that it is a valid range. And so we want to include it in being a potential answer. So we set right equal to mid. I'm not doing mid minus one because doing the minus one would exclude it from being a potential answer. Hopefully that makes sense. And then once we exit our while loop, we can just return whatever is at our left pointer because the our left and right pointers just are index values. Um, so when we exit our while loop, our left and right pointer must be equal. So we can just return left. And that's it. That is how you solve this problem. So let's submit just to make sure it works. Aww. Oh, I made a mistake here. Uh, and it's because of line 12, I put the sum as an integer. This needs to be a double. Uh, my bad. <laughs> let's submit again. So our time complexity for our constructor is going to be big O of N, where N is the number of weights we have because we have to compute our sum. And then we also have to calculate all of the probabilities. And then as for pick index, that is log of n, where n is the number of weights we have because we're performing a binary search. Our space complexity is big O of n, where n is the number of weights because we have to create a double array, which is assigned to the weight length. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I know this problem is a little out there. It's not the normal leak code-esque problem that you would typically see. Um, at least I haven't seen a problem that's similar to this one, but this is heavily asked at Meta. Uh, so it's definitely an important problem to know, especially if you are interviewing there anytime soon. Don't forget to check out my algorithm prep website, Algos with Michael. I would love to teach you all of the different patterns for solving these categories of interview problems. And with that, I'll catch you guys next time.